Adjacent. So, San Pond Road. The San Pond Road. From the district boundary to San Pond Road. Yes. Right. Would you accept that, Mr. Bessie, as a friendly amendment? I would. Okay, would you please repeat that? Really repeat that, Mr. Cox. From the district. So, what I would propose is. Of the district's share of infrastructure improvements in connection, in connection with the proposed reconstruction. Okay, thanks. I'll just speak up. <laughs> so, to pay costs of the district's share of infrastructure improvements in connection with the proposed reconstruction of Route 6 and Route 28 by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation from the district boundary to San Pond Road. Okay, so the amenity the, from the district boundary, that's it because the San Pond Road is already in there. Okay, so that is your amendment. Is there, now it's already been seconded. Is there discussion on Mr. Bessie's amendment? Mr. Morales? Ms. Um, is there such a thing as an actual boundary? Is that delineated somewhere? As to where the yes. as, to, as to where the onset district begins and the Wareham district begins, yes. There's a specific yes. spot. Are you, are you mean by a boundary? Is there a specific place? We're now delineating it by some kind of a boundary. Is there such a boundary we do that have exists? A designated, there's a, there's a high, there's a high one. Mr. Uh, somebody from the Water Commission? Yes, there's a boundary. There's a, there's a high road here for every highway. Of, Approximately uh, Angelo's, D'Angelo's Sub Shop, just uh, or east of the pump station, the sewer pump station. So that is the boundary of the onset part of the district. Okay. Anything else to be said on Mr. Bessie's amendment, Peter? I'm not sure if it falls under his amendment, Mr. Crusoe. Um, was the article written that way specifically because the state is calling it the 6 and 20 project that for them starts yes. 500 feet east of Tyler Ave, whereas we're only going to be working within the onset district? Is that going to be an issue with the state? Member of the Water Commission? No. It is not going to be an issue? It won't be an issue, right? No. Our funding begins where our district boundary begins, down to San Pond Road, correct? So that's clear to the, to the voters? Correct. Yes. Okay. No, nothing else. Mr. Monterey, may I add something to my comments? By all means. So I'm not familiar with the map through that area, so it's, it's come to my attention that it should be clarified somewhat. And so I'm going to put forward another slight change in that's what I, what I had said. So what I would propose is to pay costs of the district's share of infrastructure improvements in connection with the proposed reconstruction of Route 6 and Route 28 by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation from the district boundary east of Tyler Avenue to San Juan Road. Fire or water? From the uh, onset. Fire district boundary. Boundary east of Tyler yeah. Avenue. Yeah, that's it. That makes it far more specific. Okay. Barry, you have that down. One line of it doesn't yeah. Okay, would you please repeat it? <laughs> I want to make sure that the voters that were very clear. All right, so <laughs> I'll, I'll say that one more time. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll say it from the same place. So, to pay costs of the district's share of infrastructure improvements in connection with the proposed reconstruction of Route 6 and Route 28 by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation from the onset fire district boundary east of Tyler Avenue to San Juan Road. That, that, that's 
Okay. That clarifies it. So again, uh, for a point of information, the meets and bounds and uh, lot numbers and all that stuff were established when the town of Wayham got out of the fire department business in 2000. So if you need to know that stuff, you go back to the 2000 district meeting and you'll find out exactly where those lines are. But we're being very, we are being clear that it is the onset fire district boundary, which is approximately probably 500 feet east of, uh, down to Tyler, of Tyler Avenue. So we're clear what we're doing. Yes. Uh, do you accept that language, Mr. Messick? I do. Okay. Anything further to be said? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Okay. Are we voting on the amendment? We're voting on the amendment. This is the amendment to our form. Okay. Again, are we, is there any opposed? It is unanimous. Now the vote comes on Article Four as amended. Where there's going to be borrowing involved here, this requires a two-thirds vote of the assembly. I think everybody understands that. Now, the, the Article 4 has been amended. Is there anything further to be said on Article 4 before we vote on it? Is there else? Just a quick point of information. You say infrastructure improvements. Does that include any new construction, or is it only improvements to the existing structures? Members of the Water Commission? This would be used? This would be for laying down completely new line. New fire hydrants, uh, new gate valves, um, pretty much replacing everything. I, I believe, Mr. Hughes, if I've read in the paper correctly, those lines were installed in 1924? You are correct. Okay. So we're dealing with very aging, aging About 100 years old. Yes. Okay. Oh, close to 100 years old. Is there anything further to be said on Article 4? You guys, Mr. Fonts. Yes, uh, just a point of information. Uh, we had a main break on Cranberry Highway a couple of weeks ago, and as we said, that pipe is 95 years old or pretty close uh, to it, so it's a golden opportunity to fix it while the project's going on. And just for your information, the last break in front of Bailey's cost us $13,789.70. Um, not trying to scare anyone into <coughs> supporting this, but you heard the commercial, you can pay me now or pay me later. And that's where we're at. Unfortunately, businesses were shut down. Um, our crew did a good job 24 hours around the clock to repair it. 